I see that you've returned empty-handed. A shame. Hmm. Anyway, you have a visitor. Yo. Well, look who it is. My two favourite hard workers. The Third Fleet Master here tells me you went out on an expedition in the Coral Highlands searching for Zora Magdoros clues. She also tells me that there is this rotten veil way, way down beneath us, which gave me an idea. If we want to be able to access the veil, we'll need a means to get down there, so I proposed that we resurrect the wrecked base. As in, rigging it with balloons to reconvert it into an airship, and the leaders, the leaders, the leader is here. <laughs> the leader here is all for it. Oh yes, rig to your heart's content. From the air, we'll be able to survey the Rotten Vale unimpeded, and hopefully that's where we'll pick up Zora's trail. The airship engineer said he'll take care of the airship construction. All we need to do is deliver the goods. Of course, this is Monster Hunter. According to the scholars, materials from a monster called the Paolumu are just the ticket. Yes. If you take care of the Paolumu hunt, that'll free me up to go look for some secondary materials. Deal? Oops. Oh, and here. The old man said to give this to you. It's a specialised tool made using materials from the local monsters. They had a handful of bio samples kicking around in Astera, so they decided to put them to use. The old man said he hopes the new gear helps you out in the field. You'll put it to good use, I'm sure. Wanna get going? Well, let's get to it. Good luck. What is it? Glider mantle, yes. Alright, so there's a whole bunch of stuff we could do in the uh, in Astera. Um, but what are we going to do? Paolumu. I think Paolumu is going to be fantastic with the insect glaive, so we'll stick to what we've got. Pretty keen to go straight out to this hunt. Uh, unless you have something to tell me. Actually, you know what we failed to do last time? We failed to equip our charm. So let's make that the first uh, thing that we do. The defense charm. I'm just trying to remember where our... There it is. Okay, so let's look at equipment. Let's read this thing. A charm that enhances the defense boost skill gives us defense plus five. Excellent. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm curious because he seems to want to talk, I think. Hello. Oh, oh my. We're converting the research base into the airship again. <gasps> I've never been good with heights. Maybe I'll hide in my pot. I see, you suggest we take to the skies again. Hmm, yes, I concur. The further we go, the more evidence we shall find. Me, scared of another crash? Piffle. What's a little crash compared to our passion for tracking down the beast? Hoo hoo. Okay, they didn't need to tell me about something. That's awesome. Did you hear, partner? We're making an airship. A flying research base. Ain't that crazy? I wish we could take to the skies right now, but first we gotta collect those materials. Let's see, looks like we're hunting ourselves a Paolumu, right? Mmm, indeed we are. Ballooning problems. From the Third Fleet Master. I'm sorry, I just wretched thinking about that monster's face. Seriously, you'll be doing it a favour. <laughs> and us too. Wow, so harsh. Hunted and the airship engineer will have everything he needs. Cool. That's an exceptionally large spore puff. Or is it? It's the flying wyvern bat thing, Paolumu. He's cute in a very ugly way. Give me that orange. Give me that orange. So insect glaive will be really good. Is it in the tail? Yeah, it's in the tail. 
Yeah, it's going to be very useful for this fight, I feel. Let's use the target camera. If I was those wing drakes or whatever they were called, something os. I wouldn't hang around here too much longer, especially with an in insect glaive user. <laughs> Gonna get caught in the crossfire, bros. Wonder if that tail can be broken, snapped off, cut off. It looks so durable. I don't think I'm gonna bother to try it this time around. <laughs> oh, we should definitely give it a few hits to see what sort of damage numbers come out. He's gonna puff. He's enraged, so. Oh, what's this attack? I think he sucked in some air, so maybe that's what he does in the lead up to the puff. Oh, a little wind press from that, eh? No, don't drink. I don't like the fact that he's coloured exactly the same as those other ones. Fancy moves. <gasps> and just like that, he's puffed. Wings are white, right? Actually, I wonder what colour his puff is. Mm, he might be a monster where wind press protection armor skill is. Yeah, oh yeah. It's gonna be super useful. So he tries to stun you with his wind and then he comes to slam you. Wow! Get dunked, I guess. Ah, that's why I really want things like wind press protection and hearing protection. That's probably not to come for a fair while. Speaking of wind press protection, I wonder if his armor, one of his armor pieces, affords that. It's getting pinned on the map as well. I wonder how dangerous he can be potentially. I think we'll go ahead and use Mega Nutrients. So, again, something that you can use early game because Max Potions are a tiny bit hard to make at this point. You'll see that that uh, boosted my maximum health. Mega Nutrients are made from, I think, Bitterbug and something else. Is it Blue Mushroom or something? So, they're relatively easier to make. And the max potions, which uh, put your potential health up to 150. You generally start with 100. Um, so it's good to look in the combine list for mega nutrients and nutrients that precede it. Yeah, that's right. There's nutrients and mega nutrients. So mega nutrients would have been made from nutrients and honey, probably. And the regular ones. Well, I'm going to stop guessing and have a look at the crafting list. <laughs> There you go. Bitterbug Blue Mushroom. Nutrients Honey. There you go, guys. So I'd suggest if you're watching this and you're newer to the game, or even if you're not new to the game and you didn't really know to go for the nutrients, Mega Nutrients, try to make them so that you can get that buffer of health to help you out. That's right, i got to get the towel for that orange. Now the question is, will the apex predator of this map visit during this fight. I really doubt it. But I'd be pleasantly surprised. Aerial battle boy! This is probably going to wind press me out of my... Well, it doesn't matter, I whiffed. I'm my own worst enemy! Catch him! Yeah! Insect Glaive is really fun! Who needs Tomfers? Who needs Tomfers? I guess people that want to do impact damage in the air, I guess. <laughs> Oops, wrong direction. I have to hand my Insect Glaive license back in, I think. Oof. 
Hüten stehen. Oh, you deflated upon getting him. Nice. <laughs> The other thing I'm noticing hardcore is just how similar his um, wings are to Puke Puke. Hopefully there's enough interesting about him to really uh, make him stand out. I think there is. As is often the way, sharpness is horrible. <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. Oops. I guess he's kind of cute in his own way. I reckon the white fur definitely helps in his cuteness. Ah, oh, that. That bigger wasp was certainly. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, hello. <gasps> Double hello, they're all here. Should I do it, fam? Should I do it? Should I test my metal? It's an ice dragon, the Legiana. I have a feeling it's going to be somewhat similar to Rathalos. He or she, it. Whatever you want to identify it as. Turfwolf. Yes. Free shinies, hopefully. Man, I think this is every. Whoa, 522. I think this is every Monster Hunter's wet dream seeing these, um. <laughs> these awesome epic turf wars that are in this game. It's something that has often been fantasized about, I guess for such a thing to happen in conversations about future titles back in back in the days of 3rd, 4th gen, even before then Robert, probably. Woof. Ooh, this is tough. I vow to kill you in this hunt. We're going to try to bite off way more than we can chew. Let's uh, get rid of this ice blight. It's really cool, you can see it. Nice and obvious. Will he regret the decision to take on the Legiana? I don't think so. Even if we triple cart, we'll have fun. I'd love to keep him still so I can get that red. There we go. And we've got the blight again, damn it. I didn't really see what happened, I kind of took my eyes off it. I think he put some ice on the ground and we walked over it. Mmm, yeah this is horrible for our stamina. Speaking of... There we go. Probably going to be worthwhile to get a flash pod. I wanted to clip that tail. So the deal is you've got this jumping strong advance and if you land it with a triangle button press, I think it is, you get the uh, sort of leg up which is really awesome. Okay so we're gonna have green sharpness at the end of this which is nice. Quickly get some red extracts. And we've broken its antennae, or whatever it is. Very cool. Not bouncing at yellow. Oh, 
Oh, and he's out of here. Or not? What was that? Did he just eat it? But it's... Oh, maybe got flat. What the? What? <laughs> I'm confused. This is another turf war. Yes, do a turf war. Do a big one. Maybe not. Let's go get our free health. Tag him again. Whiff. Okay. Oh, that'd be right. Fooling around doing stuff that's not particularly important. Get wrecked. Okay. Yeah, what's the deal? Lakeiana Carcass. So he sh I didn't see what happened, what made him make that carcass. Can't wait to find out. Oh, we should actually pin it. Hopefully this ice will uh, dissipate by the time we get to him. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> Perfect timing. So as I said in the previous episode, uh, we did a fair bit of farming, so at this point we do have this full Anjanath, which is going to keep us in good stead for the fight. Um, I don't know how good our weapon will be for the task of what we're doing. I'm confident that we'll be able to get this Legiana. Oh, it's nice to have Dragonite. And then we get a Paoluma as well, so that's going to be a double feature, feature, feature. The only thing that's really going to kill me as this insect glaive user is the um, bloody ice blight. Oops. And we've got some items that I've been holding onto that we could use to help. Demon drug being one of them. So we get attack up. We might use a defense, an adamant seed. Okay, now we've got the target camera on you properly. Woo! Nice, we avoided that ice. Man, it's a pretty looking beast, isn't it? So pretty, I want to cut its wings off. <laughs> so usually with their monster designs, they're inspired by real-world creatures. I wonder what, if any, real-world animals, insects, and otherwise inspired this one. For the most part, he's like super alien to me, but maybe the wings are based on some sort of Moth or butterfly? Coloration is fantastic. Okay, we will bounce the legs. Oh, I wonder if I should go for this tail. Now oh, we need color. Hmm. Maybe this time around I won't be so focused on getting tail break if that's a thing for it. I just want to get it killed and in good time. Because we've got two monsters that we have to deal with. Oh. I wonder if he'd be a good boy in getting a trap for me if I've got one. I do. We should probably. S oh, you can't place it here. But you can place it here. 
We've got some sort of uh, coral preventing it. Oh, that bloody orange. Okay, that's enough. Let's bloody sharpen it. We'll see he's down. Hopefully he'll hop back up, get straight to the trap. What a legend. Seamless. <laughs> Turn around. There's a, another part. It's the... his right wing. I don't know what tripped you up there, but it's stuff. I wonder if that pink coral looking stuff over there acts like vine canopies, where monsters can jump on them and tremor you. And on the other side of the... Oh no, don't do that. On the other side of the scale, whether we can use them as natural pitfall traps when staggering them upon them. So many questions. That's the beauty of Monster Hunter. It's a it's a slow burn game. There's so much to learn, so much to enjoy, so much to encounter. You can't get anywhere near all the questions you want answered through a single journey out in the map. It'll take many, many hunts. Oh, the bug actually broke the other wing, did it? <laughs> now we got pushed away from the head. Uh oh. Man, we've managed to avoid so many of these attacks, thankfully. Oh, as soon as I say that. Actually, let's go to the tower this time. I'm feeling frisky. Tower, tower, tower. Tower, tower, tower. Maybe we can get it. Or not, just clipping. Oh, let's still, still get it. Did another part broken. I'm totally reneging on what I said. If we can get this tower, that'd be good too. What is this? Piercing, good. I like piercing pod. I don't know how I feel about this guy yet. Despite all these flash, he doesn't feel super threatening to me just yet. I don't know. Zoned, have ya? <gasps> How cool. And he takes us ever higher. Mm, I'm still curious whether there's a section of the map that's only able to be gotten up through... That must be it over there. Yeah, through the updraft. I doubt it. I think it's just, um... It's just a faster way to get... And we're being shown the longer way to get up there. What was that? Melberries. Oh, Melberries are exactly what I want. So we've got to go down to go up. Oops. Actually, I should have, <laughs> I should have done the insect glaive move properly. I probably would have been able to uh, boost into that cliff face and looked super stylish. Oh well, maybe next time. Okay, so it seems like just like the ancient forest, there's the apex predators going to the higher parts of the map. This is 
probably a roost we're eventually going to. Man, it's quite a high map. He's still 42 above us. If he's sleeping. Oh, is this the sunlight? It's like the brightness is getting magnified. Um, yeah, we've got the ability to capture him. Don't we? There, there it is. Rip tail card if that's a thing. There we go. <gasps> we did it. I don't know. I'm not going to speak too soon because, again, I said that I farmed for stuff. Maybe they're expecting my weapon to be one level down from what it is. Seemed pretty easy. It didn't seem super threatening. But you never know. Fights can go so differently depending on... Well, from fight to fight. Even when using different equipment. So maybe we just got lucky that time. Or maybe he's just a pushover. I'd like to err on the side of caution. And say nah. We just got lucky. Beautiful. What if there's something I could have hooked onto on the way down to break my fall? Now onto the meat. Where are ya? Where are ya? Cool. It's hard to see the scout flies with this much um, brightness going on. Mm, he's gone southwest now. Hmm, I kind of wish that the scout flies were different colours for this map. I wonder if they ever thought about that. Generally, they, they're excellent for darker parts, but there's lots of bright areas. Maybe they should have programmed it so that the scout flies have dynamic colour changing. Well, I guess they already do, depending on if there's a monster being aggressive next to them, or whether there's just an elder dragon in the vicinity. I feel if they could dynamically and smartly change colour depending on visibility of different light conditions. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't feel like this guy should have too much health left. Certainly after taking that turf war attack. What was it, like 500? Mean old Legiana. Or Legiana, rather. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, cool. The ripped... The ripped puff looks really awesome. Is a very interesting roar. Oi, 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 oi! Come back. Ooh, I'm surprised the bug flew that far. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, we can climb up. That dunk would have been so tasty if we got it. You get white sharpness? I mean, white sharpness, not yet. 
And we get white extract. Oh, I'm glad to have missed. One of the uh, typical flying ribbon moves the old run and fall down. <laughs> yeah, well, I can definitely sympathize with you there. Hunting the apex predator of the map and then the palooba as well is freaking hungry work. Alright, that's our puffball sorted. Awesome. Oh, he's, he's kind of cute. Oh man, that that mouth there, all agape. It makes me feel really sorry for him, for him now. Interesting harder posterior there. Don't know if we got tail whapped or anything, but that looks like that would bloody hurt. All the studs on it, all the ridges, dang. I can't wait to see the reward screen. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Oh, I love this place. And the way that they're introducing it, because we know that the very next one after this is going to be Rotten Vale, which is evil and dank and dark and full of death and disease, probably. So it's going to be quite the contrast. Okay, scale. Nourishing extracts can be obtained from certain large monsters, has the ability to amplify the effects of certain medicines. Alright. Oh, I wonder if that's just rebranded albino extract. I think it is. So it might get might help you get mega demon drugs and mega armor skins and stuff. Paolo Michel, obtained by breaking its tail. Armosphere, Sturdy Bone, Flash Bug. I'm always happy to get Flash Bugs. Sturdy Bone, Coral Crystal. Crystal prized at the Smithy for use in high grade abrasives, mainly found in the Coral Highlands. Hmm. Now, Legiana Staff. Oh, interestingly, blue coloured calves. Hmm. The Hide. Legiana Tail Webbing. Obtained by breaking its tail. Supple. Used to craft gear. Oh, alright, so we got it to the break stage. I don't know if there's a sever stage. Interesting. Legiana hide. Scale. Hide. Oh, we got two plates? That's amazing! A valuable find used to fortify gear. It's said to be quite hard to come by. To get two in a hunt is... Oh, praise Aaron Jesus. Oh, I'm happy. Now the breakdown, what do we get? 4k Zenny, 624 points for the research, seems high. We're Hunter Rank 7 apparently, uh, went too fast. Paolum is at 1, Legian is at level 2. Wow. A new cutscene has been added to the gallery, fantastic. What a bumper episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Are you guys going to be taking on the Legiana on this particular quest? Do you have the bravery? Actually, do you have the armor and weapon to do it? I would love to find out if you have done it or if you plan to do it. Let us know in the comments down below. That's going to do it for now as always. It's been Rosie Fun Gaming. We'll see you in the very next episode. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.